The time is finally here. We finally have fresh musky content for 2022 after Mother Nature completely and utterly trying to kill every opportunity we've had before this, but we finally got it done. And I just wanted to say these videos are going to be not in chronological order because the last day we fished, we fished with Mr. Steve Jonasy in Iowa, and I wanted to give him a nice plug. He's got some open dates, so check that out. I'll leave all of his stuff in the description below. But with that, let's jump to us catching muskies in Iowa with Matt Vavrock and Steve Jonasy. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. As I've said before, some of the silliest and most entertaining musky fishing you'll ever find on the YouTubes. And we're having more fun than should be legally possible. You're darn right. So much fun we're going to need plastic surgery to get the smiles off our faces. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be filming half of it because it's illegal in five states in Puerto Rico. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm out here again with Mr. Steve Jonasy. He is a fantastic <laughs> musky guide here in Iowa. A wonderful teacher. A wonderful teacher and he is too humble to say it but I've had plenty of people tell me that so it's got to be true so that's what we're doing we are musky fishing in Iowa with mr. Steve Jonas and we're back here my host for this long weekend and overexposed fisherman <laughs> photogenically not clothed wise mr. Matt Bavrock um, this intro has already gone on too long and it's, it's just gonna get sillier <laughs> if I don't cut it off so we're gonna get to fishing hopefully we can get some nice Iowa muskies in the bag for you guys to check out all right everybody I'm gonna start out throwing a Kodiak blunt nose this bait has been fantastic to me we've got a couple of Iowa fish on this one already so I have confidence in it I'm gonna throw it and I know glides work very well this time of year I'm throwing it on the ever-present surgical strike assault stick 2020 that I have in my hands nine foot with a what is that that's a 400 tranks HG so that's the rig. Uh, again, I've been using this just about all spring, either the Blunt Nose or the Kodiak Naven. And uh, yeah, that's what we got going. Jonas is probably going to be throwing a little phantom back there. Matt's going to be the middleman, just throwing whatever he can. And we're going to see if we can get a muskie to hit. Fish, fish. Oh, it just popped off. Oh, shit. Dang it. Darn it. Shoot. What's that? Uh I don't I don't think so. No. No. Because the bait was running fine. It was it was pop, 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 and she just popped it right up in there, man. Good to have not had somebody peg one here. Oh. There's a little guy. It was it was a, if if that yeah he was it was a smaller fish yeah a little male but yeah we could have made him look good on camera for a <laughs> uh, at least it's something yep. There's a fish, there's a fish. Hang, hanging up top, hanging up top. No. He just disappeared under the boat because I saw yeah. it coming and I went around to hang it just like. Ah. 
Well, I don't 38 know, 30, 30, yeah 35 -ish. Ish. yeah it was a nice fish yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, he just must have just kept going yeah <laughs> like, he made the turn and I, I think he kept going after that yeah yeah guys yeah, it's, yeah. it's tough too when it's blowing like this to do anything yeah <laughs> oh man, that was a big freaking swirl behind it there. <laughs> oh! Might have been that thing. Might have been. Get out of here, you. Eat up, little man. Eat up, man. Look at that. Well, Steve. Oh. Nice work, dude. Thanks. Mr. Jonasy, nicely <laughs> done. Hopefully Excellent work. We can get that uh, one book out without even touching it. Thank there you. we go. Nice. A little one quick, quick little, little beat up now. Look at that. Beautiful fish, man. I'll beat up. <laughs> the girl's been getting him, <laughs> biting them all over. Pretty little fish, though. Absolutely, man. All right. Third, four, three, five inch spawn. Oh, ha! Bye, ya. sweetie. I thought I'm to out. grab it just. <laughs> and I'm out. Mr. Jonasy, nice. nicely done, man. Nice work, dude. We got a fish in the bag. <laughs> That'll work. Not what we're looking for. Fish in the bag, and it's a fish in the bag. Water spots on the camera here. Don't mind this, folks. Um, first fish that we've actually got in the bag. I lost one, we've seen a couple. We are fighting ridiculous winds, high skies, so the shadows are gonna be ridiculous, but this man back here, if you wanna catch an Iowa muskie, you get a hold of Steve Jonasy. Spring, fall, summer's a little tough because, yeah. of, our, because of the water temps. Take a break in the summertime. Yep, but I will have all of his particulars in the description below so you can get hold of Mr. Steve Jonasy and get yourself a nice Iowa muskie. Even in the wind. <laughs> Steve, do you have like a like a kind of a routine when the client catches a fish as to how you do those things or do the fish routine? Yeah, it's like a, your C what's like your CPR routine? Yep. Right there, right there. Oh, oh, oh. I just stopped it and let it sit there, and she, and it just came out of nowhere. Was, of course, the water's a little bit darker here. That was another one of those little males, man. Yep. Boy, that was that's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Other than the fact, I I thought he was actually going to stick there for a second. I don't know. Oh man. <laughs> Well, they're starting to rock and roll and do something. Yeah, they're moving so. here. Boy, he, he just he was, submarined at me. He just yeah. <laughs> like he just, that. <laughs> everybody midday update I've lost a fish Steve's caught a fish I had another fish come up and bump a bait we've seen a couple fish and Matt almost lost his hat uh, because the wind is absolutely ridiculous I have to give props uh, for Mr. Jonasy back here he has been doing a lovely job keeping us on the spot in his this is your brand new rig isn't it buddy well last August yeah 620 September. Ranger so if you're coming down to fish muskies in Iowa and you want a nice, clean, comfortable boat <laughs> with a gentleman who knows how to run it very well, you need to talk to Mr. Jonasy. Come on down to Iowa, baby. Um, we're, we got, we got a little bit more time here. The sun is high. If you're in the wind, it's hard to control the boat. If you're out of it, you're dying because it's almost 90 degrees. If we went from 
50s and 60s to 90 today so it's kind of ridiculous um oh it's just it's nuts so yeah well welcome to the spring i think everywhere it's just been yeah. just nuts so there's your midday update we're gonna get back to fishing and see if we can't trick a fish into biting one of our baits all right ladies and gents i have switched over to the kodiak navin i've been bopping back and forth between this and that blunt nose because of the different types of structure that we're fishing out here. We've got curly leaf pondweed clumps and edges that we've been fishing. So that's when I've been throwing the Navin on, get down a little bit deeper. If we get a little bit shallower, I'll throw the blunt nose. Actually, I've thrown the, a tap dancer as well. So um, that's really shallow. The blunt nose gets a little bit deeper. So those are the three baits I've been kind of bopping back and forth between, of course, every single one on the surgical strike. So that's sort of the program we're running. And let's see if we can get one to go. There's a fish real low. Real low. Low and low? Yep. See him down there? Nine? Yep. Turned on it? Yep. Get him right. No, I tried to kind of bring it back. He was tailing off, so I tried to kind of bring it back to him just to mm -hmm. see if it trigger it. But wow! And there is Quinn. <laughs> I had to stare at that for a long time to decide whether that was a muskie or a, <laughs> or a weed. <laughs> yeah, or a weed. So okay, but I figured. Yo. No, there's one. There's one. Oh yeah. There he is. He's coming up. He's coming up. Oh. Oh. He's, he, he turned. He turned. Just hang it. Just hang it there. See if he'll come up to it. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Went down. Maybe just kind of hang it. He's still there. He's still there. He's right. He's right there. Get out of here. My battery's still down there. Yeah. God bless it. <laughs> it looked about like the same. Is it the same? I, I don't know if it was the same one or not, but he he was about no, the same size and he was acting about the same way. So. Oh, I don't know. Freaking thirty-four inches. At least he was it. coming up to yours, but uh, you got real interested there. For yeah, a yeah. I don't yeah. Know well, what all you got there? But, we'll see. Uh, Another one to think about, anyway. Freaking every single time. Yeah. There's one. Oh, oh, oh. Got one. Yep, yep. You got it, Steve? You bet. Coming this way. You ready, Steve? You bet. Whoa. Oh, we got a problem. Oop. We got a bait in the mouth. Yep. Go ahead and go. Here, just go ahead. I'll. I'll okay. Pretty good. Hey, hey, hey. Dude, let's go! <laughs> In the final hour. Nice. Not a giant, but I will take well, that all day. Despite that almost being sort of a cluster, because I tell you what, people, it's the end of the day. It's hot. We're just about to wrap up here. And Matt just came through with a clutch fish. So let's take a look at it. Come here, buddy. All right, quick look at you. Again. Beat up. Another beat up male. Thank you, Steve. You really it. appreciate it. Not a giant, but man, they're all special when you work this hard for them. So, and we have work today. <laughs> that is very true. So we'll get this little guy back and uh, there she goes. Maybe get another one yet. You know. See you. Dude. Awesome. <laughs> awesome day, guys. That's so cool. What a cool way to potentially end the day. I don't know. We're still going to cast a little bit, but uh, boy, if that's how it ends, I'll take it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a two fish day. 
and not a big two fish day. But you know what I say to that? We're musky fishing and we boated two muskies. I don't care how big they are. All these little fish are really cool. Um, doesn't matter if they're 27 inches or 27 pounds. We love them all. With that, I want to thank Mr. Steve Jonasy back here in the back of the boat. <laughs> if you would like to come down and catch Iowa muskies, big, small, and medium, <laughs> you should give him a call. Come He's on down. you still got some open dates coming I up do here. Have some open dates. Few open dates left in May, and uh, with this late spring, I've got some June dates as uh, as well. All right, so get after it, people. Hopefully, you can hear that over the wind. He's got dates in May and June. I'll put all the particulars in the description below so you can take a look at that. And now for some terrible lighting and Matt <laughs> Baffrock. <laughs> I want to thank him and his wife Callie. They literally just had a baby and were willing to put my dumb butt up for four days down here in Iowa. So a big thanks to Matt and especially Callie. So um, that's it everybody. I got to drive home to Janesville. It is going to be a long drive and I gotta get going. We're tired. It's been four long hard days. Thanks dude. Dude, Pound it. it's been awesome. It's been awesome having you. Cannot appreciate you coming down and sharing the sharing the water, sharing the boat with me. It's just been, it's been a dream of a weekend to be honest. It really has. Eight muskies in four days. Yep. Uh, a couple small ones, a couple big ones, a couple medium ones. It was just awesome musky fishing. <laughs> Alright everybody, with that I am gonna drive home. Thank you every single one of you. I just appreciate you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.